Today's tip is a lot of fun. It's all about using sound effects to change the pace, uh, to engage the hearing sense a lot more. And it's, it's a useful tool to drive home your point as long as you're not doing this just gratuitously. So what I do before I set up a Zoom meeting is I've got some various sound effects that I like to tie in. So as a quick example, I could be talking to a group of prospective clients who want to become better presenters. I might say, when you give a presentation, do you ever hear this? That's not a good sound. Or how about when you tell a story or a, a line that you think is funny and you hear this? If you've ever felt that way, then I can help. I've got a series of programs and then I'll go into describing what I do. And then to close it out, I can add these particular sound effects to emphasize the benefits of doing work with me. So go through these programs and this is what you'll hear the next time you give a presentation. Or talking about humor, I might say, and the next time you tell that story that you think is so funny or that line that just kills them at the club, this is what you'll hear. Again, this can be a fun tool. It's useful if it supports your idea. Don't do it just to be gratuitous. People can get humor anywhere. They don't need you to be the funny guy or the funny woman just for funny sake. I wouldn't go to talk to a group of accountants, for example, and share a story of someone who uh, made some mistakes. His client got audited by the IRS and ended up in jail. It wouldn't be a good idea to play this. that's probably not going to do a good job of selling whatever services I'm offering to that group. So try the sound effects, they're a lot of fun. They can help change the pace, keep the audience more involved, keep them engaged. I look forward to talking with you in tip number 22.